，早於二零一一年七月二十四日。又話牧師喺按住二零一一年五月份 Webot 經已預告，全世界將出現龐大嘅經濟崩潰，但係到時傳媒會盡力封鎖消息及説謊。更進一步，新聞從業員會出現缺乏理性同情緒崩潰等現象，或者係橫蠻不講理，直強詞奪理，掩飾事實嘅真相。第十四大點就係話咧，因為咁多個災難咧，所引發嘅經濟崩潰同埋佢按照 Webbook 佢講咧，將會嚟緊咧會出現一個好大嘅經濟崩潰咧，直情好似啲人好似雲車浪一樣。OK， 大到咧快到係好緊要嘅。佢講會有一輪新嘅銀行崩潰破產嘅現象會喺我哋講所講嘅新馬出現。咁啊，但係問題咧就係因為呢啲嘅消息咧係傳出嚟嘅時候咧，全球嘅好多嘅呢啲。背後嘅黑手咧，就會撳住呢啲消息出嚟嘅，咁佢就會叫咧所有呢啲傳媒去講大話。但係佢話咧，喺今年新聞點解會稱為人類最醜惡嘅時刻咧？就係、是、話我哋會慢慢會喺電視睇見咧，好多呢一啲講新聞嘅報導員咧，佢哋因為明知自己講緊嘅係講大話咧，而並且知道嗰講個大話嘅嚴重性害死幾多人咧。佢話會導致咧，佢哋喺電視面前咧情緒崩潰，因為佢哋自己本身裏面係知道咧有啲咩事，而家傳媒要佢隱瞞住啊。咁佢講咧就喺第十四大點咧，佢就話我哋喺今年新馬嘅時候咧，我哋就會見到呢啲嘅事喺我哋眼前出現。例如今年七月份，美國眾議院以大比數三百二十七對九十八票通過參議員 Ron Paul 提出審計聯邦儲備局。呢、这個可算係打擊聯儲局及一眾 Freemason 銀行家，讓美國脱離控制嘅第一步。但係，如 Webbot 所預測，對於呢一宗大事，主流傳媒以冷處理嘅方式，甚至提出反調。The thing is that there was another thing that actually got done on Capitol Hill yesterday, and for some reason, the mainstream media chose to ignore it. See, yesterday, as we told you, Congressman Ron Paul's bill to subject the Federal Reserve to audits by the nonpartisan Government Accountability Office will actually pass the House. And the thing is that it passed overwhelmingly.、But、don't forget that the last time that we got an audit of the Fed was in 2010, and we found out that the central bank loaned out a whopping $16 trillion to U.S. and foreign banks. $16 trillion. At the time, Senator Bernie Sanders called it a clear case of socialism for the rich. I mean, I think that we all deserve to know about that, don't you? Some people would say that they're concerned that the audits are going to affect the independence of the Fed. It's supposed to be apolitical, right? Well, if there's anything that we've learned over the last few years, is that that is one of the biggest jokes out there.、And、the truth is that the Fed is very much so a political body in America today, and we should be able to know. Where that money's going, especially when we're talking about amounts like 16 trillion dollars. So the point is, there are other things going on in Congress, things that everybody should be paying attention to. Not that the tax cut battle isn't a good pulse on the partisan divide, but it's just that the audit of the Fed battle shows corrupt partisanship where there should be none. In my opinion, a Fed audit should be a no-brainer. But the thing is, that for some reason, the mainstream media decided that this vote wasn't quite up to snuff for their obsessive coverage. Just another thing that they chose to miss. 又例如，二零一二年九月十七日，前美国明尼苏达州州长 Jesse Ventura 接受著名新闻媒体 CNN 节目 Piers Morgan Tonight 访问。本来呢一次访问系想要从 Jesse 嘅口中套取主流媒体嘅观点，以批评两位总统候选人嘅施政。但系 Jesse 却借机会揭露主流媒体所封锁嘅现实。最終逼得主持人 p i e r c e Morgan 只能站喺主流傳媒嘅立場，一味嘅反對。呢、这個正完全吻合二零一一年五月份 Webbot 嘅預測。例如，當談及喺利比亞班加西大使館遇襲，美國利比亞大使被殺時 ，Jesse 不但冇因為軍人出身而支持美國出兵報復，相反，佢認為美國而家已經破產，唔應該再干預別國。Mitt Romney's had a, a rough week because of the the Benghazi、uh, incident, in which he was deemed by most people, including many on his own、uh, side, to have jumped in with a critical statement of, of the president, really without knowing all the facts, and turning it into a political football, where most people thought that was the wrong thing to be doing. Oh, I agree. As an American politician at that time. Well, absolutely. When our country is attacked in any way, shape, or form. We need to pull together. We need to come together, not separate. 
at that point. I mean, uh, you want my, what I would do over there? I would do what the pinnacle of the Republican Party, the hero, whatever of modern day, Ronald Reagan did. Do you recall when our, back in the 80s, when the barracks in Lebanon was hit yep. and over 200 Marines were killed? Did Ronald Reagan go to war? No, he got us the hell out of there. And that's where I stand on this. If these people don't want us over there, let's close our embassies. I stand with Ron Paul. Let's get rid of foreign aid altogether. Because as Ron Paul put it, the definition of foreign aid, that's taking from America's poor and giving it to another country's rich. Yeah, but hang on, hang on. Just wait a minute. Wait, no, wait, wait, you wait, you wait and a minute. Wait, it's my show. Wait, you wait, wait a minute. Uh, hey. Hey, Let me just challenge I'm talking. you. I'm challenging you because right. I think that is taking one extreme and going to the other. It may well be that America has too many embassies, has too much say in too many countries. We're also broke. It's, that's, of course, you're not the only How country. How can we give to foreign aid? You're not the aid. only country that's broke in the world well, right yeah, now. We're giving foreign aid on a basic term for you people. That would be the equivalent. You're losing your house. You're three payments behind on your car, but you're. Cousin Bob from out of state needs to borrow 500 bucks from you. Are you going to send it well, when you can't even make your own house yeah, payments? Jesse, America, We're broke. But, How in debt are we? Well, you're certainly not as broke as many countries around the world. Well, if they're worse and in more debt than us, I want to see a country that can America, say they have more America debt than we do. America remains a superpower. And America sure we are. And all superpowers, I believe, have a responsibility to other countries around the world. Now, it may not be responsible. Really? No. You I don't th think America should have any involvement in any country in the world? Sure we can have involvement if they ask us. Since when should we be the world's policemen? Why do we have military bases in 160 some countries? We have no, mil no foreign country has a base here. Imagine if Hugo Chavez decided to buy a thousand acres of land by Palm Springs and move the Venezuelan military in there. What, what do you think our reaction would be to that? Yet we, we have multiple bases in Korea, multiple bases in Japan, multiple bases in Germany. And Piers, last time I checked, those wars were over 60 years ago. Why are we still there? Well, the argument would be to prevent another war of that nature. <laughs> why, why would you laugh at that? Isn't because, there a reality? That because there are our, lots of people because out there who our like military to harm today, America and its interests. Our military today is so advanced, we can be anywhere in the world in a matter of seconds, minutes or hours. We do not need to be an empire like Rome, occupying with our military throughout the world. And if you notice, I'm getting nothing but nods out here, Pierce, you think from America regular would be American safer? cities. Would America sure, be safer be safe. without Who's... any embassies in any country? I'm not saying to get necessarily to get rid of embassies. Absolutely have embassies. But if these Middle Eastern countries are going to behave towards us the way they do, then let's get the hell out of there and leave them to their own. 例如，当问及刺杀拉登系咪使美国更安全时 ，Jesse 再一次。冇因為曾係海豹突擊隊員站喺美國政府嘅陣線，相反，佢更揭露美國政府嘅陰暗面。But be honest, is America any safer now than it was when he was killed? Or from all we're seeing now in the Middle East, all the uprisings, all the kind of reverse Arab Spring, if you like, are you concerned that it may be a hornet's nest is getting out of control. No, because I think that lots of times these uprisings are orchestrated. I believe, I believe in the works of Colonel L. Fletcher Prouty when he said, nothing just happens, everything is planned. I truly believe that. And so these uprisings that are happening right now, we don't know really who's behind them. They could be our own CIA did we helping know, to do it. Right, well, who knows? Did we know who we were backing? I mean, that's one of the key questions. Back in that what? Well, in Libya, in Egypt, I have in, no idea. You know, all these countries, when you uh, when you oppose a Mubarak or a Gaddafi or so, did we really know who these rebels were? And are we now perhaps well, seeing the the results of not knowing too well who they are? We're here wanting to give democracy to, pe to people who have lived, in my opinion, in the Stone Age. I think the bigger question to ask is. Here we go, another religious war. Because most every war that happens on this planet is due to the fact of religion. 
One religion doesn't like the way another religion worships God, so we're going to kill you. I love religion, you know, and I say that sarcastically. Well, hang on, I thought, I thought And you... I say that because I've, Jesse, op I thought... I've openly admitted I'm an atheist. I thought you said earlier that all wars were about, you know, oil and, and corporations. They are, but they're all religious-based, too. So they're all about religion and oil and corporations. Could be, And sure. occasionally getting rid of the Nazis. Yeah. So my point is well, that wars can be wait, the wars Nazi, can be over wait, many wait. The Nazis was religious too. Look what they did to the Jews. So that brought religion in. Vietnam was religious because Diem, our puppet president, and our country brought a hundred Christian Vietnamese down to the south to be the government. Well, the southern Vietnamese didn't like these religious characters from up north, so they then became the Viet Cong. So all wars, pretty much in my lifetime, have had some religious basis, but certainly big business gets in there because wars are very profitable to certain big businesses. And of course, big business needs to be in the Middle East so that we can get the oil out of the Middle East, so we can get the lithium out of Afghanistan. You know, they discovered a vein of lithium there they say is worth a trillion dollars. Well, what is lithium used for? Every cell phone, computer, and soon to be electric cars. Let's talk about why we're really there. We're not there. How does any of these wars affect our freedom in any way? The United States is not in any threat. They're not going to do a Normandy invasion on us, Al Qaeda in Virginia. No, but hang on, are you being slightly naive, aren't you? Because I'm not being naive, I think you sir. Are, I think you are being naive. No. Because I think that it's clear one of the main reasons that America went into Afghanistan was to try and get Al Qaeda dismantled, the organization which committed the 9 11 atrocities. Really? Well, you don't think so? Well, how come Al Qaeda put the heroin business out? They took all the poppy growers and stopped the production of heroin. What would you have done? Wait, now how much of that illegal heroin was propping up the international banks with laundered money, and when it dried up, the first recession happened. Well, now that we're back in there, we aligned with the poppy growers, and the heroin business is back up full swing again. Okay, what I would... thought we fight a war on drugs here. Alright, Jesse, what would you have done? on September the 12th, 2001. What would you have done if you'd been president? What would I have done? Yeah. I would have done a legitimate a legitimate investigation to find out what exactly happened on 9-11. How did they know who did this so quickly like they did Lee Harvey Oswald? How quick they knew Lee Harvey Oswald well, we knew killed because, Kennedy? Because the people who did it were identified and we knew who they were. Well, then why couldn't we have stopped them beforehand if they were identified and we knew who it they were? It was a failure of intelligence. Everyone's accepted No, it that. wasn't. We knew before with Condoleezza Rice's memo on August 6th when it stated right in the memo, Bin Laden to steal planes and run them into buildings. And more stuff is coming out now also, how much the Bush administration ignored the intelligence. It was almost like they ignored it because they wanted it to happen. Oh, come off it, Jesse. That's no, not oh, come off it. Every, wait a minute. No. Every war no, 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 starts no. with a false flag operation. You can't, in all seriousness, sit there and try and make out anybody. How, okay, let me ask you this, Piers. Wait a minute. Happen. Let me wait, wait, wait. Let me ask you something. How many? How much studying have you actually done of 9/11, other than what what the governments told you and what mainstream media oh, has told actually. you? I was editor, I've been studying it I was four editor years. Of a national newspaper. I've, I've talked and we to people. It wait a minute. In depth every day for really? five six months. Really? So I know a lot about it. Well, well then, how I do come, know is, Let me ask you this: You then. cannot say that any member of the Bush administration knew it was going to happen or wanted it to happen. It's a ridiculous thing to say. Ridiculous. Okay, let's talk about your BBC. I have a tape of a BBC reporter broadcasting directly back to England talking about a third building has collapsed, World Trade Center Building 7, talks for seven minutes. All the while she's talking, World Trade Center Building 7 is still standing right behind her. It didn't fall for another half hour, yet they were doing a pre-broadcast back to England that, the, yes, it's true, no, you need to that this building here. 
fell and it hadn't fallen yet. If you're trying to make out the British Broadcasting Company, one of the most respected news organizations in the world, was inventing huge buildings falling over. You, need to, have a little, you need to have a break, Jesse. We'll come back after the break and Are we'll talk about Israel me? Are and you Iran. you kidding me? This is a fact, my friend. That was Jesse Ventura live along with our studio audience. We left a fairly heated debate about various theories that you have about 9-11 and so on. Let's move on. To... Oh, and the government only has a theory. Right, well, the government uh, has... No, this is a theory. Their theory is 19 Islamic radicals armed with box cutters defeated our multi-billion dollar air defense system mm -hmm. all while conspiring with a bearded guy in a cave in Afghanistan. That is exactly what that's happened. That's their theory. No, that's not a theory. It's a fact. That's their theory. No, Jesse, that's, that's a, a fact. fact. That's what happened. Really? Yes, I'm Were sorry to kill your conspiracy theories, but that is what happened. Then why haven't anyone been brought up for trial? Because they they all haven't died. given one shred of evidence they all died. in the trial. In case, case you missed the story. Well, they then all what do we died. got all these guys in Gitmo for? And we got the supposed confessor to it, who they waterboarded 180 times to get the confession. Got news for you, peers. If they waterboarded you 180 times, you'd confess to but it. You see, now you're, but you're missing the point. On that very point, I don't agree with Guantanamo Bay. I didn't agree with the waterboarding, personally. Let's move on. And Jesse is talking about the BBC news video in the Solomon Hills, and the Solomon Hills of 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 the Solomon Hills. Now, more on the latest building collapse in New York. You might have heard a few moments ago, I was talking about the Salomon Brothers building collapsing. And indeed it has. Apparently that's only a few hundred yards away from where the World Trade Center towers were. And it seems that this was not a result of a new attack. It was because the uh, building had been weakened uh, during uh, this morning's attacks. We'll probably find out more now about that from our correspondent, Jane Stanley. Jane, what more can you tell us about the Salomon Brothers building and its collapse? Well, only really what you already know. Details are very, very sketchy. There's almost a sense downtown in uh, New York behind me, down by the World Trade Centers, of uh, just an area completely closed off as the rescue workers try to do their job. But this isn't the first building that um, has suffered as a result. We know that part of the Marriott Hotel next to the World Trade Center also collapsed as a result of this huge amount of falling debris from 110 floors of two, the two twin towers of the World Trade Center. As you can see behind me, the uh, Trade Center appears to be still burning. We see these huge clouds of smoke and ash, and we know that behind that there's an empty piece of what was a very familiar New York skyline, a symbol of the financial prosperity of this city, but uh, completely disappeared now, and New York is still unable to take on board what has happened to them today. Let's move on. Let's move on right. to uh, Iran and Israel. If you were the American president, with all the jungle drums beating now about Iran, would you take any military action? Well, first, let me state that Iran has to do this. Because if you notice, the United States doesn't mess with any country that's got nuclear capabilities. They only mess with countries that don't. So all countries that don't have it strive to get it because it's a safety mechanism to have it. So of course Iran's going to try to get the stuff. Should they be allowed to have it? Should they be allowed to? I don't know. Well, yes or no? I don't know. Well, you're a man of opinions. No, I don't. I, I, you I, may be I, running for office. I'm entitled to know what you think. Not right now. You don't. I need to study it more. How very I need convenient. To look. Yes, it is very convenient. So you know about everything that happened before 9-11, but right now when you have Iran potentially nuking itself up, you don't have an opinion. Well, let's leave that up to the nuclear inspectors that go in there. They will tell us whether they're nuking it up before you decide to bomb them. I didn't decide to bomb anybody. No, but you seem to be very favorable You're trying to put words it. into my mouth all the time, which is, it's, it's not a very good technique when you're debating with somebody. Just just you're to going to, well, how many political offices have you held? Uh, none. Then don't tell me how to debate, because I've held two. Oh, I've debated many times. 
But you've never won. You've never won an election where a debate I was required. I think you make some very sensible points, and you make some crackpot points. That's your opinion. Yes. How many people here think I make crackpot points? Yeah. One. How many think I make sensible points? You're in a minority, my good friend. You're the minority. 因此，传媒嘅伎俩不外两三道板斧。对于一啲有名望人士，传媒尚且会预设立场，希望引导佢哋讲出支持自己方向嘅答案。若果被识穿后，就反过嚟攻击呢一啲名人嘅诚信。但对于普通平民，传媒会用更简单嘅手段，要不就不作报道，掩饰真相；要不就屈冤揭示事实真相嘅一方。就好似一九九六年雙氧水事件，新聞報導員唔理會所有醫學著作、臨床醫學實驗同醫學嘅證據，一味從西醫霸權壓力下打擊講求事實嘅石安教會。咁其實你嘅身份係牧師啊，定係神棍啊，定係誒即係自然療法？點解你自己話自己係牧師咧，你就可以又喺講壇裏邊就教人誒，即係飲雙氧水啲嘢？同你嘅身份即係清唔清晰啊？可唔可以即係清楚解釋呢樣嘢啊？誒，我相信呢個係一個角色嘅問題啦。因為如果你而家問到呢一點咧，就係其實喺啊聖經裏邊話俾我哋聽一樣嘢，就係保羅佢喺。你講埋邊幾章邊？誒，《史能卷》第二十章第二十節，保羅講話，如果對你有益嘅冇一樣嘢唔講嘅，咁事實上喺啊提摩太後書裏邊咧，佢甚至教誒提摩太喺佢話話你胃口類似不清，誒誒。你因你胃口不清，類似患病，再不要照常喝水，可以稍微飲酒。係你會睇到、啊、一個傳道人咧，佢講咧係講事實，而唔係在乎、啊、我講嘅時候我有冇權威或者係呢一啲嘢，因為事實係最緊要嘅。我嘅報道㗎，講真，我覺得你憑一樣講呢方面嘅嘢啫。你咩？我哋資格嘅，我哋憑我哋過去幾傳。咁你覺得認為你講嘢啱，你就應該揾其他醫學嗰啲人同你一齊對質，認為你都認同嘅。係啦，係啦。我依家講講下邊一單，跟你講嘢冇可能㗎嘛。係啦，嗱，睇你啊，嗱，你講嘢咯，嗱，嗱。咁喺呢方面咧，我想俾你大家有機會認識下呢方面嘅醫療嘅方面啦。暫時唔需要我哋而家暫時。好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好啦，好
嘛，所以就算係嗱，佢用呢啲嘅時候咧，一定係真係清楚知道佢用就好似用電一樣，係你唔使用嘅話係會電死人。唔係，但係而家衞生署就係話咧，就一直誒都絕對唔能夠即係唔適宜飲用啊。咁我相信呢一個就係冇佢冇任何呢個根據咯。